Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I'm I'm very emotional, I'm crying right now, and that's kind of be that's gonna be the topic because I feel to make genuine connection, you need to show emotion. You need to not be afraid to take off the mask of confidence and hilarity and just break down. And and I'm not. This is going to be a pity video, but instead I'm going to make something that could be looked at as pity, but become uplifted. That when you're in a state of upset, my mom is in the hospital and I just got done talking to her and I'm just bawling my eyes out. But just from that small thing, crying is not weakness. And from a man, I want to relate that. I want to express and go deeper into how I'm thinking and how I'm feeling right now. And just hopefully for some of you that feel this way, and maybe it's a lot, that you're just in your room and you're crying alone. Most of the time when I'm crying, as obviously you can see, I'm alone. And I feel this is the best part to do a video when it's genuine. I, I am a wreck. I'm about to go and play football and that's going to make me feel a lot of, that's going to make me feel better. But when you are at this point, when you are upset, when you, when you don't know what to do, sometimes you have to let the dice roll where it may. When you're upset and you're crying, you have to do things to take your mind off it. But it is never bad. What I do, I look in the mirror. I look in my eyes. I look straight in my face. And I think to myself, I talk to myself, I'm like, you are going to get better. You are going to do amazing things. I motivate myself, encourage myself, because, let's face it, people aren't always there for us when we need them the most. That's just communication purposes, but you, you need to rely on yourself. You need to be your best. You need to be your number one supporter in the things that you do. When it comes down to it, my mom, she's in the hospital, and she's she might she may get out today. She's going to be on oxygen, and we were just talking about grandma. My grandma was my mother. She she raised me, and uh, it just blew my mind. I said, I want her. I want her to see my kids. I want her. I want her to be like I was to my grandma. I want my kids to be like that. I want them to love her as I did my grandma. So, um, this is small things. Taking life and using it in a way to motivate those around you. To impress, or not impress, to raise people in their hearts. Because some, let's face it, you guys are bitter. But how can you get better? It's a choice. You choose to get better, so get better instead. Choose to rise above the bitterness. Cho choose instead of to hate, to love. It's, it's small life choices that are big, but still, it's, it's just small things of saying, okay, instead of hating my dad, or hating my mom for what they did to me, I know it's wrong, I state that it's wrong, but I find it in my heart to forgive them. If I was bitter about my, ba my dad being dead, then <laughs> where would I be? I could have easily been a drug dealer. I could have easily done get deep into drugs. There's all sorts of kinds. I have tons of opportunities. Meth, pills. There, there's just so much. But instead of being reliant on those destructive assets, I rise to when I come in contact with people, I better them. I better them as if I want to better myself. And that, that's number one. You should treat others as how you would want to be treated. That's the number one rule in life, or it should be. Loving God is your savior, even if you're not, if you're, if you don't believe in anything, okay, let's say you don't believe in anything, when you don't, when you look out, we go outside, and you look at the beauty of life, and you, you, you act as if nothing created that, are you serious, but hey, that's a, that's a different topic for a different day, <sighs> beauty is in every single one of us, light is in every single one of us, and what we do with this life is so grand and important, uh, oh man, I, emotion, tears, crying, that, that is, they say it's a mistake, but it is a, it is a f overflow of emotion, overflow of sadness, overflow of joy to some. It, there, there is so much connected with the power of crying that it can bring out to people, but they do it in the dark. And why not bring it to the light? Why not be comfortable to cry? As a man, as a woman, why not be comfortable with your body and the way that you do things? Be comfortable with how you treat people. Because they could die tomorrow. Me and my mom, we don't have the best uh, relationship. I do what I do. Like, it's not bad. I, I just don't talk to her. I go throughout my day. I work hard. I, I work out all the time. I, it's just, but she can die tomorrow.
It's just, and this is what I, as a person, have come to terms with. When I talk to my friends, they could die. They can go in a crash. Maybe you know someone that did suicide. I talk on that topic because I've lost people. And I don't want to lose more people. When I do my videos, it's in a sole purpose to rise a person. Even if it's one. Because that one leads to ten, that ten leads to a hundred, and so on and so forth. My YouTube channel may be small right now, but I guarantee you, I have passion and I love what I do. Ah, I love it. I love meeting people. Man or woman, I don't look I don't look as people as objects. I look at them for their heart. I look at them for their opportunity and joys that they bring to people. I watch people and not the creepiest not not as a creeper, but I watch people in awe are to spectate what is good and what is bad. In judging, you could say, but I don't judge and say of how I'm going to like a person. That ain't how I judge. I don't judge and say how you look. Uh, I'm not going to be around. No, I judge by your heart. That's how I do. I find the good that you enjoy doing, and I rise those qualities. And things that you are not so good at, when you come and talk to me, you guys know, those that you have that one-on-one -on -one session with me and you guys talk to me, you guys know I aim to help you guys, not bur build you guys. Or uh, burn you guys. Yeah, burn. When I, when I talk to people for the very first time from India, Asia, Africa, people from all over, I, I don't look at the bad circumstances that you got. Yeah, I listen to it, and we build from there because your bad is just as important as your good. Listen, I'll repeat that again. Your bad is just as important as your good. If, you, if you've been raped, if you have been uh, anything that negative, you've been robbed, you've been stolen from, rule robbed and stolen from, same, you've been, you're just anything bad you can use that as a light you can use that you know what if this happened to me and i overcame that then you can do it too it is a motivational boost it is being able to guide people to a light to a better place man this life is not over not by a long shot until it is done from the time we were born when you were a baby and you were born that spreads so much emotion just you being born alone spreads so much emotion oh i have my ba think of your mom think of your dad when they were looking you into your eyes as you're a baby and you're waddling around that is their baby you are their baby and to say that your mom or dad hates you you know what there was a point in time when they looked at you in your eye and they and they said you, i made that thing I made that thing. The mom had to be there. <laughs> Jay had to be there. So if you say it, your mom don't love you, at least one point in your life, you are, you're so naive. There's a lot of teens that think that way. You know what? Your mom may treat you like crap, okay? But you had to be raised. You had to be, you still had to be kept with a roof on your head, no matter how bad the situation is, or how blissful it was, okay? It, you have to overcome. You must drop your pride to be like, okay, whatever bad that happened, you must set aside to yourself that I will not do this to my kids. You must cut that bad stone and make it a good. But some way, shape, or form, you're going to be a parent one day. And even if you spend the rest of your life alone... You are still going to influence people around you. There is no excuse. Everybody's a leader. Every single person in this universe is going to be a leader in some way, shape, or form and is going to impact people in some way. So know that. I want you guys, through these videos that I do, I, I want to upsteed the challenge that <sighs> life is important, yes, but you are a leader. There's people that love you most importantly, so never think otherwise. I wish you all an amazing day. Keep pushing forward, keep motivating, keep loving what you do, whatever your passion, even if you don't know what you want to do yet, find a will, find things that you enjoy that make you happy, okay, it is as simple as that, uh, that fake smile, I don't believe that, if you are upset, share it with people, that self, that, that, that fake mask, you put yourself in that position, me, if I'm upset, I will share that I am upset, you, you may think people don't care, but people have the emotion to help another person out. It, it, is, it is from the old times. If we, a pack of wolf that is, a, a wolf that is alone will not last as long as wolves with people with a pack that, around them. So just enjoy life. Keep living every day as if it's your last. Know that what you did yesterday that was bad is different from today. Use your bad as a good, as a stepping stone to be like, I was there, but this is where I am now. I hope every single one of you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and share, and as well, have an amazing day.